How are you doing, guys? I've had such a pain in the ass with this program. It's unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, just, just to show you guys how to swap between your keyboard presets um, whenever you like, basically. It's, it seems so difficult to me. I looked through the manual, and the manual didn't really shed any light on anything. So, so whatever you're in, whatever thing you're in, so I'm, I'm in this one at the minute. I'm in the World Wide Web. I've done like the general picture of the map of the earth. Um, so this is the thing you've got to remember. Wh whichever one you're in, you can't select that one. You can't put that to a button sort of thing. You're going to select where you want to go from there. And I've just had a reminder on my phone. But anyway, I've now got this set, World Wide Web. So if I, it says up here, Function 1. If I press Function and 1, that'll go to Purple Overclock. Which is, where is it? It's there. So if I press Function 1, it goes... To what I've called purpleoverclock.net. And then if you look over here. To this button here. Yeah, I'll just make this full screen. <clears throat> That'll take me back to the World Wide Web. If I press this button again. Look. Keyboard desktop. Same button again, it takes me to one called desktop. So whenever you program these keys, you're programming where you're going to go next, not where you are, as such. You can do it that way with the function keys, I think. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but it's normally whatever preset you're in, whatever keyboard settings you're in, you can't set that to anything you have to link it to something else so you can link two of each other you can link three four it doesn't matter how many you want you can set them all to this button here if you want to cycle through but you've got to link them all through it's quite complicated to explain so if i Oh, where's that one I really like? Where is it now? No, oh, Neil preset. This is a this was one of the, the presets that came with it. Um but I just changed it a little bit, so I sort of put my little touch on it. But I'm not gonna select it because I want I wanna be able to go there. So if I just stay on the desktop one and I say I wanna go function two, or I can do it I could do it with this button. Just do it with a dedicated hardware button. Um, it doesn't really matter. But I'll just say function 2. So I'll click on that. Go up here. And go down to launch configuration. And then for me it's always this bottom one. I don't know why the top one's there. But it's always this bottom one. I think the top one might be for it if I've got an extra keyboard added. And I go down a Neil preset, check that, and done. And now when I press function and two, I'll click save first. Function and two, and it swaps to the preset. So guys, remember, you just go up here to that button it tells you where it's going to take you if you press it but once you've got to where it takes you it's it's going to take you somewhere else it might not even take you anywhere that's when you decide where you want it to take you and every time you change a preset 
these functions change it depends how you've set them and remember for all of these whether it's the four defaults that come with it or all the other keyboard settings that you've set whichever one you're on all these are going to be different and this key is going to be set to take you somewhere different unless you've told it to do exactly the same thing so if you want this button to take you exactly the same place from any of these just say you've got 20 of these you're going to have to tell this key here 20 different separate time to take you to that same place um i don't know how else to explain it guys but just remember just send me a message if there's that you don't understand just leave a comment and like subscribe or whatever i don't know that's what they always saying for it on youtube and uh, yeah just i'll get back to you cheers guys